Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukhak Wadash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the creator of heaven and earth, the only one true and living power, Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega. First and last, the beginning and the end. And the Chakwadash is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, that gives us the inspiration to make our call and election sure and to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And to the men, women, and children that's listening and learning, keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai. Staying in the Holy Spirit to the best of your ability, day in and day out. So back again, this is uh, also from Zero Hedge. This is entitled, People Have Just Gone Nuts. Wealthy New York suburb gripped, griped by hysteria after local family diagnosed with COVID-19. Now this uh, New York suburb, it says it's wealthy. And it's uh, actually, <laughs> it's actually uh, amongst... Um, so-called Jewish uh, people, all right, the the uh, Amalekites from the line of Esau, all right, they're now dealing with this, um, you know, uh, coronavirus, all right, and this is all once again all praises, honor, and glory to how about Shemiah Shai, what the Lord is doing, you know, it's 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 a beautiful thing, you know, I thank the Lord that I'm able to understand and be in His truth. Be, be spiritually alive in these times, man. And, you know, just pray that the Lord keeps me, keeps, you know, the rest of you, Akim, that are sincere, you know, and Akwathim, which is a brothers and sisters that are sincere and who are striving, you know, uh, in these last days, man. But with that being said, man, it, it's just it's, it's every day is a, uh, it's something else, man. The Lord is just doing more and more, bringing forth his prophecies as he said he would. All right. And once again, it's an honor to be able to see it and to be able to, um, you know, bring it out. <clears throat> so it says, New Rochelle, New York, is offering the rest of America a glimpse into what happens once COVID-19 arrived in your hometown. The New York Times reports, hey, actually, before I get into that, you got right here, breaking news, Governor, California Governor Newsom declares coronavirus state of emergency. So, you know, that's breaking. So as I'm doing this, you have, because uh, <laughs> once they do the state of emergency, then, you know, it basically becomes, um, they have different, uh, you know, uh, uh, things that they can do, you know, military-wise. They can, um, you know, mandate people to quarantine. They can mandate people to uh, be taken away if they suspect that they are sick. So, you know, that's why these state of emer emergencies are happening, okay? And what, what happens during these state of emergencies is basically up to the government. So we're getting closer and closer to that, you know, uh, police state, all right? That martial law-like uh, state, man. So it says, uh, New York Times reporter Sarah Messonier visited New Rochelle yesterday and started reporting. She wandered around the mostly deserted downtown talking to restaurant workers and a handful of uh, patrons brave enough to defy rumors. By Wednesday evening, it had become clear that the virus was spreading in the community. Governor Andrew Como had confirmed that a man's wife, son, and daughter had all tested positive for the, for the virus, as did a neighbor who drove him to the hospital last week. And just a few minutes ago, Como confirmed the number of cases in the state has risen to 11, with 10 of those 11 in Westchester. But even before Como's first press conference Tuesday, word had already gone out. A local had been affected with the dangerous flu-like virus from China. Nowhere outside would be safe. Hey, and this is, once again, so the Lord is bringing, man. Uh, come on. So I bear me. It's just, you no. Know, you saw, just fucking, always gotta be something. All right, let me try to come out of this, go back in, because I won't be able to read it. All 
Salakia. So, where was I? Yep, so it says, um, by the time Como held his first press conference yesterday, word had already gone out. Even before the latest news, worry had already seeped across New Rochelle. Worry, you hear that? Worry, panic, fear, you know? <laughs> These are all the time, all the, the, the adjectives that are, be used, that are now being used in, in today's uh, world, all right? And it's only going to, once again, get worse. These are just the beginning of sorrows. It says, at Mickey's Dub's frozen custard shop, a cust- the custard machine world idol, and at Eden Walk, a kosher Chinese restaurant, workers stood in a door- doorway anxiously peering around for customers. <laughs> One diner customer who spoke with Nir said she, was, she would wash her hands carefully once she returned home. She added, that she felt terribly sorry for the victim and his family. Well, the time is coming where you're not going to have time to feel sorry for, for somebody else because you yourself are going to be in a disarray. You yourself are going to be in a calamity. All right. It says, I recognize that the gentleman who now is in a hospital with coronavirus in New York was walking up and down this street, said Vicky Sterner, 62, a landscape designer and one of the few customer customers dining at Miestro's Italian restaurant on North Ave on Tuesday evening. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to try to never even ever touch my face. And I feel terribly sorry for the family that has coronavirus. It affects everybody, the entire community, Mrs. Sterner added. But I can't stop and I can't change it. I'm going to live my life. (laughs) Yeah, we'll see. Says some conjugants at a local temple were surprised to find a closed Tuesday afternoon. In fact, conjugants who had attended certain events were asked to self-quarantine. <laughs> yeah, man. So, hey, these are supposed to be the, the well, everybody knows that cat's out the bag. But, you know, these are so-called Jewish people are supposed to be the Lord's chosen. But here they are getting hit with the coronavirus in the temple. <laughs> Bro, I can tell you how about Shimia was shy. It says shortly after, shortly before dusk on Tuesday, Nathan Lindenbaum, an accountant, had walked up to the temple doors of Young Israel of New Rochelle for evening prayers. He was perplexed to find them locked, and and the synagogue empty. The man with coronavirus had attended services there. Hey, and you just had you had a uh, Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia basically shut out anybody from coming to do the pilgrimage to the Mecca because they didn't want nobody catching the coronavirus. So, so like, they didn't want anybody coming to uh, basically, you know, do the pilgrimage coming to Saudi Arabia, um, you know, and possibly, you know, bringing, bringing the coronavirus. So the Lord is shutting down all these these false religions, all right? These fakes, these phonies, these these heathens, man. These, these, these wicked, the wicked is, is being uh, chastised. Left and right. Okay. It says, hours before the Westchester County Health Commissioner had ordered all services at the synagogue to halt, and the congregants who attended a funeral in a bat mitzvah there on February 23rd to self-quarantine in their homes. Over 100 families are under the, are under the order, according to New Rochelle Mayor Noam Bra- uh, Brabson. Sound all like so-called uh, uh, Jewish uh, people, man. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to get to the point. All right, it says the mayor told the NYT he had only just started planning with other local leaders for potentially ugly contingencies, like if the police department had to intervene to enforce mandatory self-quarantines. What does that sound like? Martial law, police state. All right, which we have been prophesying, you know, for years, and a lot of people didn't believe it. But guess what? Now it's about to. Now it's going down. All right, now it's going down, and as the scripture says, you shall know that a prophet was among you. It said it's um, just trying to run through it because this is pretty long. Uh, it says, meanwhile, one restaurant owner said he had already hired a PR team and started offering steep discounts. He also told the NYT that he had heard some uh, interesting stories from fellow restaurant owners. The same day as the man diagnosed on Tuesday, Josh Berkowitz, 
The owner of Eden Walk in New Rochelle hired a public relations specialist and started offering 15% off coupons to stem an uh, anticipated drop in diners. Trending to his single table, uh, so like tending to his single table of customers doing what is usually the dinner rush, Mr. Ber- uh, Birkenwitz answered the phone. A fellow caterer was calling to express shock at an order he had just received. The customer wanted shoot sushi, but told him, Mr. Uh, Birkenwatt said, his voice dropping to a whisper, he didn't want any Asians to touch it. <laughs> Yo, so you see what's going on right now? Nation rising up against nation, the love of many waxing cold. All right. This is all what the Lord said was going to happen, man. This is how we know we have the truth because it's 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 evident, okay? It's evident what's happening right now. And if you can't see it, then the Lord has blinded you pursuant to Isaiah the 6th chapter, the ninth verse, all right? It says, Mr. Uh, Mr. Birkenwood shook his head. People have just gone nuts, Okay. He says, informed by the uh, reporter that a local man and his family had caught the virus, a local delivery driver told the Times that he would probably start avoiding the man's neighborhood. I can't afford to get sick. So once again, man, is that people have have gone nuts. But guess who's not going nuts? The men, the men of the Lord. All right. The ones who have faith in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, the ones who uh, can discern the times, the signs of the times. All right. The ones who have the wisdom and knowledge, Isaiah 33, verse six and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. We're not going nuts. All right. We're actually praising the Lord in these times, man. It says in strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. OK, so hey, as more things go down, all right, we're going to see more and more prophecies come to pass, man. And the Lord doing his work. So, you know, I just want to bring that out, you know, um, Lord willing, this was edifying and uplifting into the elect. Stay strong, stay diligent, stay watching. We almost the hell up out of here, man. And 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 it's gonna be in a glorious fashion. Okay, we we coming up into the week of the Passover. And we know what the Lord did, you know, to that last Egypt, you know, how he delivered us. So we just gotta keep that same faith, all right, same uh, uh trust in the Lord, and we're gonna be taken up out of here too, man. When you, when our Lord, our Savior, Yahweh Shah returns, okay. So uh, with that, call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and until next time, Shalom.